during the last week of session, on the second to the last day, suddenly, late at 6 p.m. at night, um, the Speaker of the Illinois House decided we were all going to vote on the uh, resolution with regard to the Equal Rights Amendment. Um, I'm the only one of 117 reps that did not vote either yes or no on that amendment, and I want to tell you why. Number one, I'm really concerned about what this amendment does for women. Many, many people believe with all their heart that this is going to protect women. However, this is language from the 1980s. There have been many constitutional decisions since that time, and I really feel that this language may not, in fact, protect women, but may, in fact, remove many of the protections that women have gained for themselves since the Equal Rights Amendment first came to light. The second thing I want to talk about is that the time for passing the Equal Rights Amendment expired a heck of a long time ago. And while it's symbolically wonderful for us to pass it, there's no guarantee that it will ever become law. Um, it would take several acts of Congress to do that. And I don't want to vote for a symbolic action. I'm a much more practical person. I'm going to protect women with real bills that make a real difference in women's lives. And this Equal Rights Amendment is a long way from making any difference in any woman's life in this decade. And the final reason has to do with some information that came to light the next day, but which I felt yesterday was an issue, which is why is one of the biggest bullies in the Illinois General Assembly the sponsor of the Equal Rights Amendment. That's not okay with me. For someone like former leader Lou Lang to get up on his hind legs talking about how, how great this is and how he's the big defender of women is hypocritical excess at its worst. And I refuse to be a party of that. That's why I got up and walked out of the house. I just couldn't be a part of that to the greater glory of Lou Lang. And, and it's a betrayal of everything that women stand for and that women need to stand up for, and I just couldn't tolerate it. And that's why I didn't vote on the Equal Rights Amendment.